In this video, we're going to be running through a couple of components that work together to enable you to adjust up and down, that's your elevation, and left and right, that's your windage, to help you zero your reticle and to compensate for a shot. And it all begins with the erector tube, which is held at the back by a gimbal, but can move freely in the front. It's that movement of the erector tube that gives you your elevation and windage travel. Here's how this works. Your front focal plane is located directly beneath your turrets at the front of the erector tube. Light is gathered by the objective lens and with the help of the parallax lens, focuses the image on your front focal plane. The erector tube has a reticle and what we call a field stop inside, which essentially crops in on the image from the objective and physically moves around, giving you the image and field of view that you see with your eye when you look through the rifle scope. So that explains how we actually get the elevation and windage movement. But how do we control that precisely and repeatably? Well, that's where your turrets come in. Turrets are basically just screws, one to control elevation and one to control windage that can move in and out and allow you to move the erector tube anywhere you want. The spring system on the opposite side of the screws ensures that the erector tube is always held firmly in place against the turrets. In its simplest form, that's all a turret is. It's a threaded screw that can move up and down. But as rifle scopes have evolved, we've added mechanisms to help us to keep track of where we are on that screw's movement and to be able to reach those certain points repeatably. So we've added what we call a click ring and a click pin, which is basically just a ring with teeth on it and a pin mechanism, which allows you to click from place to place and because of this, we can now count how many clicks we have in a turn and we can move precisely to a given point. Take that one step further, you can actually change the thread pitch on the screw that moves up and down. So you can divide that revolution and all those clicks of, of the turret into actual units that translate to angular units of measurement downrange. Started off with an inch at 100 yards centimeter at 100 meters and that is essentially the same as what we have today the two main units of measurement minutes of angle and milliradians